now i am going to explain the features of the right kidney so in the kidney how to determine the site as you see here in the theory class itself i told three important structures in the hilum will help us to determine the uh, anterior and posterior aspects from anterior to posterior in the hilum three important structures anteriorly renal vein next to that renal artery as you see here anteriorly renal vein next to that renal artery the next to that you can see the pelvis of the ureter vein artery and ureter so by this i am clearly stating this is the anterior aspect and this is the posterior aspect and this will be the upper pole and this will be the lower pole that means right kidney it is having an upper pole and a lower pole and it is having an anterior surface and a posterior surface it is having a medial border and a lateral border anterior and posterior will be decided by these three structures in the hilum renal vein anteriorly renal artery in the middle and pelvis of the ureter in the posterior aspect of the hilum as you see the medial border medial border is convex above and below in the center it shows a depression which is called as hilum so three important structures are present in the hilum renal vein renal artery and pelvis of the ureter so in that order please remember this order vein artery and ureter so this is the upper pole which will be related to the suprarenal gland right suprarenal gland and this will be the lower pole and as you see here so this will be the lateral border and this will be the medial border this is the anterior surface and this is the posterior surface as this is the anterior surface of the right kidney there are five relations for the anterior surface of right kidney as you see here so this will be the suprarenal impression suprarenal impression this will be the duodenal impression this will be the duodenal impression and this will be the hepatic impression hepatic impression this will be the jejunal impression and this will be the colic impression so out of this five impressions two are peritoneal impressions two are peritoneal impressions namely the jejunal impression and the hepatic impression these two are peritoneal impressions rest of the three are non peritoneal suprarenal duodenal and colic these three are non peritoneal relations and when you come to the posterior surface when you come to the posterior surface as you see here so this posterior surface relations will be studied under two halves upper half and lower half so in the upper half as right kidney is located somewhat lower to the uh left kidney because of presence of liver on the right side so the upper half of the right kidney is related to only 12th rib then the diaphragm then right costo diaphragmatic recess then the lower half related to three muscles from medial to lateral side this will be the psoas major covered by the iliopsoas fascia quadratus lumborum covered by the anterior layer of thoracolumbar fascia and this will be the transverse abdominis covered by the fascia transversalis so between the quadratus lumborum and the anterior layer of thoracolumbar fascia there will be three important structures namely subcostal vessels and nerve ileo hypogastric nerve and ileo inguinal nerve so these are the posterior relations and same thing vascular segments of the kidney the renal artery will be divided into anterior division and posterior division the anterior division will be divided into four branches supplying apical upper middle and lower vascular segments and posterior division will supply the posterior segment so between this anterior division and posterior division there will be a bloodless plane or an avascular plane called as broadal plane which will be close to the lateral border so this is a site preferred by surgeons to remove the calculus and to study the coverings of the kidney both for right and left kidney it will be the same so it will be the true capsule of the kidney true capsule of the kidney then perinephric fat perinephric fat followed by renal fascia so inferiorly renal fascia is separate and enclosed the ureter superiorly at the upper pole both the layers will fuse and then resplit to enclose the suprarenal then again join at the upper pole of the suprarenal forms the suspensory element of the suprarenal and joins with the diaphragm and medially so the anterior layer will cover the inferior vena cava and aorta and continue with the similar fascia of the opposite side whereas the posterior layer will continue with the fascia covering the psoas major muscle fascia covering the psoas major muscle so outside the renal fascia posteriorly there will be paranephric fat from inside outwards it is the true capsule true capsule followed by perinephric fat followed by renal fascia then posteriorly there will be paranephric fat true capsule perinephric fat renal fascia and paranephric fat and description of all the layers has been given in the lecture thank you